In this 13 Reasons Why Season 2 review, we're gonna talk about why Clay sucks. Let's have some fun. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. So in this video, uh, I wanna be a little bit more lighthearted. Yes, I know this is a fictional show and I'm gonna be a little rough on Clay because he is a fictional character, all right? I'm all about love, compassion, kindness, and things like that, but I think there's some valuable lessons to be learned from Clay's character and 13 Reasons Why. In fact, in fact, I will be making some more videos I think if you take a lot of the characters and a lot of the scenarios from this show and take them as learning experiences of what to do and what not to do, I think you'll get a lot more out of this show. But anyways, yeah, this entire time I was watching Clay, like I'm just like, bro, bro. Let's get started, all right? I'm gonna list a few reasons, okay? So the main issue, the main issue, let's start it off with this. The main issue is that Clay is completely, completely self-centered throughout the entire season two, okay? First off, I mentioned this in my video about Sky. Clay in a relationship is probably the worst idea ever, okay? Like, he is extremely selfish and self-centered throughout that entire relationship, and the entire time, he's just me, 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 me. And by the way, this is why you really gotta be careful about who you pick and choose to be in a relationship, because like, Clay, doesn't really offer Sky anything. If you go back and rewatch the season, I'm trusting you've already seen it because there's gonna be spoilers. If you go back and rewatch it, like, what did Clay actually give Sky aside from his companionship? Like, think about that real quick. Go back and rewatch if you have to. Nothing. Clay is a taker. All of it is about him. He wants love, he wants affection, he wants attention and stuff like that. Even though he's not over uh, Hannah, and <laughs> even when it comes to Sky's mental illness, like, Sky almost died. She almost died, and Clay's like, no, you need to stay here with me. Come on, Clay, think about someone else but yourself. The next one is his relationship with Tony. Clay, you're killing me here. So, Tony is on probation for uh, his violent beating of a man, right? And Clay is trying to get Justin to be on trial to, uh, you know, rat out Bryce, right? That's what Clay wants. All about Clay, all about Clay's revenge, all about Clay uh, just uh, getting justice for Hannah, right? And like, there's like multiple times where Tony's like, listen, Clay, I can't do that or I might go to jail. And Clay's like, I don't care, bro. You need to do what I want you to do. Like, really, Clay? Really? Like, I've never personally been to prison. Well, I did spend the night in a drunk tank one time in college. I haven't shared that story here on the YouTube channel. If you want me to share it, leave a comment down below. But anyways, I've never been to like jail jail, and like, I don't think Clay has either, but he really minimizes the fact that Tony might go to jail and or prison, and he just doesn't even care whatsoever. Clay is awful to his parents. He's awful. I found this tweet and I was just cracking up. Like, Clay yells at his parents and they give him a car. They give him a car and his parents just ask for one thing in return. Just one small, small thing. Just be honest with us. That's it, just be honest with us. So what's Clay do? He sneaks Justin into the house, has the guy detoxing in his room, doesn't even tell his family. But I think an overall lesson to be learned from all young people watching this series is like, talk to adults. Just talk to adults. Like. This entire time when I was watching it and when my girlfriend was watching the first few episodes with me, I'm just like, I kept pausing and I'm like, so many of these situations would be resolved or fixed if one of these characters would just go talk to an adult, but instead they're trying to be like the Scooby-Doo mystery team. Sorry if you don't get the reference if you're a little bit younger, but they're trying to like figure out all this stuff by themselves. Like when Clay was getting like run off the road, tell your parents. When Clay starts getting these like ominous like photos in his locker, tell your parents. When people start getting like harassed and all sorts of stuff, tell your parents. 
tell an adult, but rather most of the characters, aside from a couple, like they try to do it on their own. And like Clay just constantly yells at his parents. He constantly lies to his parents. Like straighten up Clay, be a better son. Next, back on the topic of self-centeredness, Clay really lacks impulse control. By the way, if you're new to my channel, go check the assortment of mindfulness meditation videos I have. This is why people need to meditate. Clay has no emotional regulation, he has poor impulse control, and he goes out and releases the tapes. He releases the tapes. He is just emotionally gonna burst, and he's like, you know what? I'm releasing these tapes for everybody to hear. And you see, like, the next day, all the characters are like, bro, what are you doing? You know, and he's like, well, I guess I never thought of that. Well, no, duh, Clay, because all you do is think about yourself. This next one I covered in my video about Tyler, but like, Clay is so honed in on justice for Hannah that he does not intervene with Tyler at all. Like some of the other characters, I give a pass, but Clay was the main character, and that's one of my biggest gripes, but I understand the show, I understand the writing, I understand how they have to move a plot in a certain direction to keep it suspenseful and interesting, but like in real life, Clay should have been intervening. Clay waited until the last minute until he has a, a rifle pointed at his chest to start talking to Tyler and befriend him. Like, Clay should have done that a long time ago. Clay should have done that when he saw Zach and Jessica telling Tyler to leave uh, Alex's birthday party. Clay should have done that when he saw that people were still picking on Tyler. Clay should have done that when he went uh, out shooting with Tyler and realized that Tyler's a little messed up. Like, if you watch, like, constantly throughout the show, like, Clay, every time he gets one of his bright ideas with his poor uh, impulse control, he just, pfft, he takes off. He will ditch you so fast. Clay, you're a bad son and a bad friend. So the moral of this video is don't be Clay, all right? But anyways, anyways, I would love to hear your thoughts about Clay as a character down in the comments below, so go ahead and put them there. Uh, if you and your friends are watching 13 Reasons Why Season 2, share this video. I would just love to know your thoughts on it, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, my entire channel is about helping you out with your mental and emotional well-being, so click that little round subscribe button. And if you've missed some videos, check out the 13 Reasons Why Season 2 playlist right there. Okay, but again, thanks so much for watching. Don't be Clay, and I'll see you next time.